everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well so for today's video i thought i would show you how i get this makeup look and then it's kind of like a little chat i'm not gonna lie i rambled pretty much throughout the whole video i talk about i don't even know what i talk about my degree i talk about tiktok youtube how i got followers on tiktok that kind of thing literally a bit of everything so if you like hearing random people talk on the internet then please keep on watching. So today I thought I would film like a little get ready with me for work and film some content because I've got a couple of gifted collabs to film. Excuse my hair. She's a bit bouncy. She's a bit voluminous. So I just curled it and I did just put oil in it but like she's kind of like all over the place. I was gonna film like a TikTok area with me but I talk so much that I feel like a YouTuber is better suited to me because three minutes is not enough. Like, I can't talk enough in that time. So yeah, I've got to film some gifted collabs. One from Outcast and one from Zaffle. But yeah, if you want to see how I do my makeup for like a content day. And then I've also got work at five till half eight. I work at Wagamama's. This is how much coffee I have left. I was trying to be one of those like aesthetic girls with their coffees, but I've already drunk it. So hopefully I don't faint because I don't do well with caffeine. This is also my first time filming in like a hot minute. So excuse if I look at the viewfinder like the whole time instead of looking at the camera. Also, I'm so self-absorbed. I just love looking at myself the whole time. Um, so yeah. I'm going to start off with the Boots Q10 Day Cream. This feels so Zoellicor. Oh my god, I can't even go. But yeah, this has SPF in it and we all know that girl, hot girls wear their SPF every day. So, Although I didn't wear it on holiday and I had a burnt head. So that was pretty dumb of me. But it wasn't as bad as last year when I went to the Dominican Republic and I didn't put sun cream on my face at all and I got sun poisoning. It's like a beluga whale. My like forehead inflated. It was really weird. Then I'm going to use my trusty e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Oh my god, there's literally like none left in there. That's pretty annoying. And then for foundation, I used the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in the shade 8.5. This is a bit too pale for me when I tan. Like, it matches my skin, but as you can see, like, that's... It's not going to do it for me. So yeah, I go in with a layer of that. I don't know how hygienic that is to, like, put that straight directly onto your face. But here we are anyway. God, I look crazy right now, but I mix it with the Good Apple Serum Foundation. This is way too dark for me. I got the completely wrong shade, so it works quite well mixing in with a paler foundation. Also, sorry if I keep looking over there. My mirror's like here, and I have terrible eyesight, so if I don't look there, I won't be able to see. I got this sponge from uh, Mercadona in Spain. They did have the Real Techniques one but I feel like this one's actually more bouncy. It feels like a proper like beauty blender dupe and it was like three euros I think. And it came with a really cute like little case to put it in. It says decide every day whether to use the pink honey face frosting or the elf camo concealer to do my contour. I'm not sure what I'm feeling today. I've used this quite a lot recently so I might use the elf camo concealer. This is in the shade rich chocolate I think. I just put it like there where you're supposed to contour i feel like i don't know if you guys i don't know who i'm talking to nobody's gonna watch this but if you came from my tiktok i don't know if you follow me when i used to do like pov honestly looking back on them now they're so cringe but i love it i used to post literally every day like how did i have the time i think it was because i did it in like lockdown so like i literally had all of the time in the world and now i still have all of the time in the world because i'm at uni but sometimes i just feel like I overthink too much the way I look online or like I don't really know uh, yeah I don't know I just feel like there's so much pressure to like look perfect online all the time um and I just don't I don't think anyone does I don't know what I'm talking about I'm just gonna go in with the Rimmel Multitasker concealer I've got two shades in the shade 060 nude and 025 but those like I'll use 060 on my spots and I'll use 060 and 020 under my eyes. Since I was probably like 14 and I went through my like Zoella era, I wanted to be a YouTuber like forever. So I feel like it wasn't much of a surprise to my friends and family like when I started a TikTok because it was just something kind of like I've always done. Like, I don't know, like creative kind of things. Yeah, and I love talking. I mean, if you're my friends or family, you'll know like I could talk for England. Mainly chat rubbish um oh my god what have i done to my nose i've just seen that that looks so bad anyway i think the point was i want to get back into it because i used to absolutely love it and then i just stopped posting and stuff which is kind of sad because it was like my full-on like passion also i just remembered i now have 50k subscribers on youtube that's insane i was just thinking like i've got like a thousand subscribers because that's what i had before i started posting my povs on youtube but no i just remembered i've got like 50k subscribers that's crazy 
maybe people will see this video that's very dorting yeah i feel like youtube is such a bigger way to like showcase your personality not that i have really any personality but you know what i mean i'm just going in with my trigwell powder puff and the poundland powder it's literally a pound and i swear by it like it's so good it makes your skin look genuinely flawless and i'm obsessed i got the recommendation from jordan lipscomb not personally, obviously, but on her TikTok, she was talking about it. So I went and picked it up because I trust anything she says. For bronzer, I'm using the XX Revolution Bronzer in Kaman. It's pretty exciting thinking, like, um, I have 50k on YouTube. Like, I would have never been able to believe that when I was, like, 15 and, like, actually posted on YouTube, like, every single week. You won't be able to see those videos anymore because I privated them. And maybe I'll unprivate them because they are quite funny. Hanging in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless setting spray i really like this and it smells amazing my boyfriend actually bought this for me when we went to bath and i'm also going to go in with the revolution glow fix illuminating setting spray because i love like a dewy look just gonna wait for that to dry because i look currently a bit insane so now my face is actually dried instead of being dripping wet i'm gonna go in with highlighter i'm gonna use the fenty beauty highlighter in trophy wife i love this i forgot it on holiday and i was honestly heartbroken this is disgusting okay please don't judge me i've had this palette since i was about 15 and it is kind of embarrassing but it's a sleek highlighting palette and i know it looks disgusting i keep it in this little bag from boho moon that i got some rings in but it's the only thing that I find works the best for nose highlight. You see that? It's kind of cute. Some lady the other day, well, it wasn't the other day, it was a while ago now. Because I used to work at Superdrug before I worked at Wagamama's. And this lady came up to me and she was like, oh, you haven't blended your highlight properly. And just swipes down my nose. I was like, um, please remove, please remove your hands if you ever want to use them again. It's giving Liam pain. I think I might do like a whole video on like my uni experience. For context, I study politics and international relations at the University of Winchester. I'm just going to use the e.l.f. brow lift and the brush that comes with it. It has like snapped off, but I need to get a new one. But I used to work at Superdrug and the only place that sells it is there. And I don't want to go in there because it's really awkward because I quit. But yeah, so I study politics and international relations. When I tell people that... They seem so surprised and I'm like, why? Like, why are you surprised? Is it because I'm blonde? Is it because I'm blonde? Do you think I'm stupid? Like, that's so rude. And like, no, I'm not the smartest cookie in the whole world. I do like a thing called common sense in most situations, but I feel like I'm not stupid. Like, why are you underestimating me? Anyways, um, I'm using a freckle pen for eyeliner because it's brown. I'm now going to apply some eyelashes. The pen that I use to do my eyeliner is, like I said, a freckle pen from the brand Relove. It's like a revolution brand. I think everything's like under £5. If you guys want me to do like a full face of like that brand, I would really like to do that. Although it is in Superdrug, so I'd have to go to a different town because I'm not stepping foot in the Superdrug that I used to work in. Nothing bad happened. Like, I literally just quit. But I just find that so awkward. I don't know if anyone else is like this. I also really want to do, like, a full face of e.l.f. makeup. Like, I love e.l.f. And I feel like they are coming in hot with the dupes at the moment. The way that they are literally just, like, copying everything Charlotte Tilbury does and making it, like, a quarter of the price just honestly gives me life. Like, it's so funny to me. These lashes are from Ilia, but I can't remember what, um, star they were in because I think I threw away the box. I couldn't wear lashes for ages because obviously I had um, eyelash extensions and I'm getting them redone tomorrow. But the ones that I had on, it was my first time going for lash extensions so she did them quite like light. Um, but I love like a dramatic lash so I'm hoping tomorrow when she does my um, hybrids that they're a bit more dramatic than they were. I know that they can't do anything too crazy if you don't have like the lashes to hold it. But I'm hoping mine will. It's really annoying i'm not seeing my boyfriend tonight i'm such an attachment girly like i have like attachment issues that's for sure i mean he doesn't live like long distance at all but it's like an annoying distance it's like 45 minutes i mean i'm seeing him tomorrow night but i just miss him when we're not together i'm using the kylie lip kit in the shade candy k i adore these lip kits these lip kits i've only got one but like i love it it just lasts all day I'd really like one in like a nude shade, but I'm really picky with my nudes because sometimes they're just like a bit too light. I like more of a like brownie kind of nude. I feel like that probably would have looked better with the makeup today.
I think I'm going to take this li lipstick off and do a different one because a lot of the clothes that I'm going to be wearing today are more kind of neutral colours so I feel like a pink isn't really going to go so bear with me I'm going to take this off. I'm so glad that Rimmel are now cruelty free because I had this for ages and it was like my favourite lip combo but I didn't want to repurchase it because they're not they weren't cruelty free but now they are which is great but it's the lip liner in the shade cappuccino and the lipstick in the shade honey nude yeah I feel like that'll go a lot better then I'm just gonna do one more little setting spray spritz just to kind of seal everything in place I know I use a lot of setting spray. Just a quick side note. This I got in Spain. Oh my god, everything's so much cheaper. Like Stradivarius, Bershka, Zara. They're all so much cheaper in Spain. I think they're Spanish companies. That's probably why. But this is the Golden Sunrise Body Mist by Stradivarius. And it's got glitter in it. And oh my god, I love a glitter spray. But this is also a perfume. And it smells incredible. So if you're ever in Stradivarius or shopping online, definitely pick this up. Because it smells incredible and you'll be glittery. Who wouldn't want that? So this is the finished makeup look. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if I rambled. I probably did because I talk way too much. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I've really enjoyed filming it. So yeah, sorry if I went off on a few tangents as well. I feel like I need to pick a topic and stick to it. Maybe I'll do like a QA. and a Who's going to ask me? Who wants to know? Who wants to know questions? No one. I Why would I do a QA? and a Anyways, stop rambling. I'm going to go now and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a great day and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!